Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, we're going to revisit my favorite character. Today, we're going to be drawing Mickey Mouse. So, come on. Let's get started. Hello, cartooners. Welcome back. Now, this video comes as a special request to Ethan. Now, while I was working over there at the parks, Ethan approached me after a show at Turtle Talk and asked if I was the guy from the YouTube channels. Ethan, hello. Thank you so much for coming up. Guys, I love when you come on up and say hello. Reminds me that you guys are out there and watching. I appreciate it. Now, it has been brought to my attention that the Disney company would prefer that I point out that while I do work for the company, this channel is in no way affiliated and all of my views are that of my own. <laughs> Now, uh, that being said, guys, please, at this time, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're aware of when I post my next video. When going through my analytics recently, I discovered that only about 95 to 10% of my viewers are actual subscribers. It would very much help this channel in its growth and everything if you just hit that subscribe button. I know most of my viewership are repeat viewers, so please hit that subscribe button and tell your friends of the channel. All right, Ethan, let's hit this up, okay? All right, so I figure because YouTube doesn't like when you repeat videos, uh, let's draw him as a full body, okay? So right now we're gonna start with his head. Now, don't forget to use your shoulder to hit those circles. Your circles will be a little better. Don't worry about this. We'll get rid of that in a little bit. Now, we're going to tilt his head a little bit. Just a little. We're going to give him a little bit of attitude. And um, just make sure that you keep those construction lines right at the center of that circle. Now, as always, you would want to make sure that his ears are at a 45 degree angle of that crosshairs, okay? So, the circles, or really they're ovals, they're imperfect circles, are gonna be, I don't know, a little, little bit more than half the size of the head shape. I'm happy with the proportions here. So, from here, what I'll do is I'll draw in his nose it's an oval shape about this big. Now, notice I'm just going over and over and over. All right, now, I like this shape, so I'm going to just darken it in. Above that, we're going to give him the top of his snout line, like so. Now, it's up to you. You can either color in his nose completely or give him a little bit of a shine. Let's just color the nose in. And from there, we're going to give him his eyes. Now, his eyes are going to rest behind the snout line, and they're ovals, right? They're about half the size from this construction line to the top of the, uh, of, of the head. So, we're going to draw in a line on either side of that construction line there, just to give us a guide. And sometimes you'll want to draw it in with little parentheses shapes. That seems to help me out quite a bit. But you want to draw them at the same time. I find that using this construction line as like a mirror, if I draw something on this side, I'll draw it on this side. That way we keep things in the same shape, in the same size. And now the eyes, if he's looking right at us, they'll just go in the corner. You want to make sure that there is some white to the, the eye in between the side of the pupil and the side of the eye. Otherwise, he looks cross-eyed. And who wants that? Okay, so I'm going to color this in nice and dark. Like we tell people at the Animation Academy that the pupils are the darkest part, so make sure they are nice and dark. That keeps them as the focal point of your sketch. And if you're worried about coloring it in, you want to make sure that the top part of the eye is a little thicker, it's a little darker, however you want to do it. If it's in color, this part should be black and this part should be like a dark tan color. 
Now from there, let's give him his mouth. So if he's giving a nice big wide smile, you wanna go about halfway up the, the height of the nose, come out a little bit and bring down a U shape or a bowl shape right below that nose. And it'll come down about halfway between the bottom of his nose and the bottom of that circle. Now that looks a little silly right now. Don't worry about it. We will make sure that it looks right at the end here. I will give him his smile lines, which are nothing more than these C shapes in either side of his mouth. And we're gonna give him an open mouth smile, right? Uh, what I like to do is I'll use the nose as a guide and I'll come down and I will draw in this curved like bowl shape. It'll come out just below that circle. And then we'll give him his tongue. I like to think of this as like the rolling hills of California, right? Or whatever state has nice rounded small hills. And I'll just color that in with the pencil. From there, I will give him a lower lip. And it's really just going to copy the shape of the mouth. And it'll stop right about at that circle. Okay, so now that we have all of the facial features in there, they're all proportioned correctly. Now this is where people make the serious mistakes. So I'm gonna break it down for you to make it nice and easy. So the cheeks come out from around here, right? You wanna follow this arc in the corner of his mouth. And what I mean is we're going to mimic that arc right here. And his cheek will come out from that circle ever so slightly. It will meet up to the lower lip right at the circle. So it just bows out right here, like so. On this side, we're gonna do the same thing. You see this arc here? We're going to follow that arc and from here, we're gonna go out of the circle. Right here, I'm gonna go into the circle, right? Or I'm gonna follow the circle and bow out a little bit. And now the mask. Now the mask is really the, uh, the, the flesh tone part of his face. He was given that in 1940 by uh, Freddie Moore for Fantasia. So ever since then, he has whites to his eyes and he has this flesh tone to his face. So the mask is that line from his skin to his hairline. Okay, so now to do that mask, this is where people get it wrong again. All right, you wanna follow the shape of the eye for his hairline. So I start with the top and I'll come up here and I will copy this angle here and give him a curved V shape. It's like we just drew a seagull out into the distance there. And it touches the circle. Now, for the side here, I'm gonna follow this arc right here, and I'm going to mimic that shape right up to the side of that circle. And now, I can draw in and darken in the side of his head. And I'm just gonna go over to the top here. And on the other side, I'm gonna follow this shape and bring it up. Whoop, all right, oh, that's better. See, that's why we sketch it out. And now I will finish off his head shape. And then you can color it in. Or not, but I'm going to. And then you can color in the ears. But that's not what this is all about, is it? We're going to give him his body now. Yeah, let me just finish off the outline to the ears here now that I've colored it in and I don't like how it looks without the, the finished outline. So, 
we tilted his head a little bit. We're giving him just a little bit more personality. So his body, and I mean his torso and his chest, right? We're going from his, if Mickey had shoulders, we're going from the shoulders to the bottom of his torso. And that is exactly a head height tall. All right, so take your finger or take a ruler, however you want, the finger and the thumb, and I'm gonna bring it down and just give it a little bit of a guideline there. We're going to give him some attitude, right? So I'm gonna draw my line of action, which acts like his spinal column. And his belly is really about that big. If it's a little bigger than that, it's okay, it'll work. And then we'll just bring in, it's a kidney bean shape, really, just like so. From here, I like to draw in the top of his shorts as a guide here. And then his buttons on his shorts, because remember, he was created in the late 20s. Suspenders were a big thing. I mean, they still are, but aren't. So those buttons are really for suspenders that he never wore, so. Now I mentioned Mickey doesn't have shoulders. He doesn't have a neck either. Uh, so let's um, draw in his hands on his hips. So we're just gonna draw in an oval for now. And his wrist would go right up in here. So he wears gloves, right? And those gloves have a rolled cuff. So just keep it nice and rounded and it's lightly drawn in here because we're going to give him his forearm and, and his upper arm here. Now with the Fab Five, there's a lot of rubber hose designed to them. While they do have elbows, they're, they're not pronounced. Keep everything nice and rounded. And now that I have that in there, I can darken in his hand. But before I do that, let's give him some fingers. So we got the meat to his palm right here. And then just lightly draw that in and then I can separate the fingers. You can draw in the fingers separately if you'd like. I like to do it this way. That way I make sure that I keep everything where it needs to go. And then he has three lines on his gloves. Never understood what those lines are, but those lines exist in real gloves, so why not? And I'll just shade that in. No neck, no shoulders. Unless, of course, he's got his hands in his pockets and he's hunched down, or if he's giving a gesture that requires shoulders, that's the only time you'll see him. So now, here's a good cheat. Um, now, you can either cheat it or you can draw them out. I like to draw them out. So we've got this shape for that one hand, right? Well, the other one is gonna be tucked in behind his torso, but you wanna make sure that you're drawing it at the right uh, size and shape. So I like to draw it straight through. And, and his hands will be in here like that as well. But when I say cheat, I mean, look, I mean, we're only drawing in what you can see. So that's all I darken in. You can even give him a little bit of a crease there at the glove. The cuff to his, his glove will be in here like that. Actually, I drew that a little thin. Should really push that out a little bit. But now check this out. We know we've got some foreshortening going on here. We don't really have to draw in the whole arm. It's gonna go in like this. At work, they call this a candy cane shape. Why not? And there we go. And then we'll just shade that in as well. 
and ducking that in to differentiate. In giving Mickey his legs, because, I mean, we've drawn this far. we got to continue on. He, Mickey is really two and a half heads tall. So if you really think about it, that's where the bottom of his shoes are going to rest. And his shoes come out about like so, right? But we got to figure out where the legs go. So if he's giving this pose where, I mean, honestly, he's shifting his weight over here on, th on this sh um, hip, right? So we're going to pull his leg back. Like this. The other one is pretty parallel and it's going to come straight down and I mean straight down like on this angle here it's going to come straight in here like so now let's give him the cuffs to his shoes which are going to act just like the cuffs to his gloves they're rolled somehow I have no idea what kind of shoes these were intended to be. I mean, they've evolved, but they've evolved into this. And down here, we're going to... Here, I gave a finished line there. I probably shouldn't have. In here like so. I'm actually overlapping his feet here, which I'm not sure I should be doing, but we're going for it. So now, if I've got the cuff to his shoe, like so, right? Now, that gives me the idea of where this shoe should go. The shoes are not the most fun thing to draw for me. I always end up kind of tipping up the, the toe here for some reason. Oh, there we go. That's that's the angle I'm looking for. See, that's why you draw lightly and loosely. That way you can erase this and this later. All right, I'm happy, happy with that. I would have done that crease differently. But now, the other one. Go out like that, but we curl it up just like so. No sharp edges to Mickey. And then give him that crease there. Now his shorts are another part that people get wrong. You want to make sure that they're nice and baggy, they're loose fitting, and they hang off of his body. So first what I do is I go into that, that torso shape and I draw in this crease right here, which overlaps. Now with Mickey, you want to make sure that they're nice and loose and they're going to kind of follow his leg. And then with this one, because it is hanging off kind of in the front here, we're going to bring this down a little bit. And now we're going to give it a bit of an S curve. so that we can bring it around. And there we go. Now, there are different styles to drawing Mickey. There just are. You know, and I'm not just talking about those awful cartoons that they put on the Disney Channel right now. There are different styles to Mickey. Sometimes they, they draw him with the tail, sometimes without. This particular style, he has the tail. So... You want to make sure that it goes with the flow. Sometimes they draw it down on the floor, curled up. I, I just want to make sure that it starts where it needs to and that it curls up like so. But yes, there are different styles to Mickey. Sometimes his mouth is wider, depends on the style. This really is the style that I like to stick with 
I did draw his torso a little big, but I think it works. And then of course, gotta sign it. And there you go, guys. Thank you so much for drawing with me. Again, make sure you give the video the thumbs up, hit subscribe, tell your friends. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. And until the next time, we will see you later.